Yeah, just as expected here, uh, guys. Uh, the uh, that little O-ring, uh, those little O-rings right there. There's what's left of them coming off the uh, the old ones. There, they're real brittle, real real hard, brittle. Most of them are broken up. On the uh, goes on that second notch on the uh, valve guy or on the valve there, and uh, like I said, all all these that I've done so far on this side here, they all been crumbly, broken off. And the other thing I notice on these uh, on the exhaust uh, on the exhaust valve. Um, Coming off the, uh, been pulling these off and they don't have the, uh, this plastic with the, uh, rubber seal. There's none actually on the, uh, from the factory stock on these, uh, on these Corvettes here. Um, so these are supposed to go on there, I guess, to help seal that, the exhaust valve, um, help getting keep from oil getting down in the exhaust valve i guess but uh because i guess it does have a little bit of suction there is what i'm what i've been reading up on and uh but those it did have these on there those are definitely on all all of them but like i said they're all broken up uh real hard these seals here um these ones right here but i bet that have been taken off the intake side right here those are uh those are really hard they shouldn't be that hard so i'm guessing that's probably why we had a little smoke on startup on this and uh we're definitely making some progress on it just slow going takes a little time got air hooked up to the uh, cylinder there to keep the valves from falling down inside the motor so that's one thing you definitely got to do if you're doing it this way but uh, the hardest part is getting them uh, once you get the spring uh, pressed down you got to get this little o-ring here down inside there you got to put this on first compress the spring and then uh, get that uh, seal to go down on that second uh, second groove in the valve is where it needs to be and that's a little difficult to do with this i'm finding out with this here uh spring compressor because when i compress it down it wants to shove that spring all the way up against the uh uh the top part of this spring here which is this looks like this right here it wants to shove that all the way against the valve so you have a hard time getting the uh you have a hard time getting that uh, little seal down in between the valve and the uh, the spring uh, the spring holder here. But uh, so yeah, that's uh, what I was suspecting. Uh, dried up uh, O-rings. Like I said, definitely the ones these these little ones here are definitely uh, really bad on this side i haven't torn into the other side yet so just a quick update on what's going on on the 89 corvette oh and also i had to take this uh to get this one this particular spring uh compressor down in there i had to take this uh had to take the ac uh compressor off in order to do that i had to pull some of this here there's a piece that goes across here I had to take that piece out to get to the bolts because there's two bolts down here on the bottom side of this uh, compressor that you got to get to and you can't get to them without pulling this piece here out. So just a heads up on that if you're uh, doing one of these uh, L98 Corvettes. So that's what we got going on right now guys.